I'm so glad I made the decision not to do something that's the average job. In fact, it doesn't feel like a job at all. My name is Sabina and I'm a filmmaker. So most people hear filmmaker and think of the big movies, but that's not what I actually do. I work on much smaller projects like training videos for businesses, almost like this video that you're watching right now. I direct them, shoot them and edit them. My next big career step is to become a documentary filmmaker, but documentary films tend to be quite expensive to make, so at the current moment with all the jobs I'm doing working with different businesses, I'm saving up to fund this. I absolutely love my job. I'm freelance, so I get to work for myself, pretty much like most filmmakers. I'm my own boss. The only downside is I don't get paid holiday or any sick pay. There are two really important skills and qualities to have as a freelance filmmaker. There's the creative side and the business side. So on the creative side, you really have to understand how to use your equipment. You need to know how to edit the footage and most importantly, how to set up a good shot. On the business side, you really need to understand finance, budgeting and the tax system. So you have to be organized. My path into filmmaking wasn't straightforward. After school, I went straight into university and I studied early childhood studies. My school was really supportive and they really encouraged us to go to university. And I think I picked early childhood studies because I'd always been good with kids. I mean, I'm the eldest of five siblings and I babysat a lot throughout school times. After university, I went traveling because I thought it helped me find out what I wanted to do with my life. And on that trip, I took lots of photos. But then I got back to London and I ended up nannying for a family for four years. And one day I was at work and I'd left my mobile phone on the side and the mother of the kids I was looking after had seen my screen photo and it was a picture of New York that I'd taken whilst away. And she said, that's a great photo. You should become a photographer. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and I guess I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for that photo. I loved working as a photographer, but I soon realized that it was quite difficult to make a full-time wage out of this profession. So instead, I decided to teach myself how to shoot and edit film. And from there, it boomed. People were recommending me all over the place and I was getting lots of work. I got my first digital camera when I was about 13. I'd take it into school and take it out on the weekends when I was hanging out with my friends. I always make sure that my business has enough money set aside for upcoming months because I, I don't know how much I'm actually going to earn. Budgeting is much trickier when you work for yourself. I always have two spreadsheets, one for my personal life and one for my business life. So on my personal spreadsheet, I keep information like my rent, my phone bill and how much I intend to spend on food that month. And for my business spreadsheet, I keep my earnings and my expenses for work. I work out my tax and national insurance by myself. I mean, I like to know how much I'm spending, how much is going out of my account. Unfortunately, I had to teach myself um, all these skills, which wasn't easy. So I think it's great that if you take level three core maths at school, you have the opportunity to learn all of these skills there. Growing up as the eldest of five siblings gave me a lot of confidence. I had to make decisions and be brave enough to ask for what we wanted, which was usually jam tarts. This has been really helpful being freelance because sometimes it can be really scary. I was a very cheeky student. I wasn't naughty though. I didn't cause any trouble. I just knew how to have fun. And in my career, I think people like this attitude and they hire me for me. I've taken many, many risks that have not paid off, but I haven't quit. There's actually a lot of maths in editing. There are lots of numbers and different rules. Ratio and proportion are particularly important. When I'm filming, I'm consistently looking at numbers on the screen, and these numbers tell me if the shot is too bright or too dark, or if the background is too blurred out or not blurry enough, depending on the look that you want. There are lots of maths rules which help you decide where to position people or things on the screen. You can break the rules, but you should learn them first. I was always very creative at school. I enjoyed anything to do with photography, colors, and fabrics. 
And after my GCSEs, I took A-levels and I studied media, design technology and theatre. When you're at school, you don't realise that maths link a lot of different subjects together. I actually really enjoyed maths at school, but I didn't pursue it beyond GCSE. But this was because there were other subjects that I really wanted to do. And also, I just couldn't see myself using maths in the real world. There were also other students in the classroom who were much quicker at it than me. So I, I didn't think I was that good, but I really wish I'd had more confidence and belief in myself. If level three core cool maths existed back when I went to school, I definitely would have taken it. I mean, I think it really would have helped me during those early stages of my business when I didn't know what finance skills I needed. To be honest, I think I'd go back now and take it if I could. And I think it's really cool that you can take it alongside other subjects as an extra. My advice would be to stay open-minded and take any opportunities that come at you. This will really help direct you on which way you want your career path to go. There are lots of adults out there who even now don't know what they want to do and that's okay. Just remember there's no right or wrong way for your career path to flourish. When someone's really happy with what they're doing, it's like they light up. So find what makes you light up and go for it.